Hey there, folks. How is it going? My name is Rabbit, and thank you for joining me for episode number 41 of Let's Blindly Play Through the Grand Stream Saga on the original PlayStation. In our last episode, after waiting up all night to see if Zeroloss would return, although, I mean, we kind of suspected it's a done deal for him with us taking out the ultimate life form, Hergazod, and everything else that that entailed. But nevertheless, Laramie, Arcia, and Eon did have a little powwow, and we just ultimately decided when he did not return, that we need to kind of keep things moving and figure out who the wise man here or the descendant of the wise man is uh, in Tolku slash Orkul. So we've done a whole lot of digging. We dealt with a lot of running around and mixed messages, but we were able to identify Gainz as the descendant. He's been hiding some information, but we're ready to confront him now that we... I was getting ready to say bribe the mayor into sharing the info with us, but we didn't even have to bribe him. We just approached him, and he was the one who kind of just shared, oh, you know, Gainz paid me off and told me not to tell anyone this, but, you know, basically screw him. Who cares? So we know for a fact that this is the wise man's descendant. Let's go ahead and just put all of our cards on the table. Like, Gainz, why would you hide this from us? We're trying to save the world here. The wise man perished, and the imperial army stole our orb. There is just... Just what? No, nothing. Okay. Is he really going to continue to withhold info? There's no need to keep the secret any longer. I am a descendant of a wise man. Yeah, I know. The Imperial Army is looking for me. That's why I needed to hide my identity carefully. I didn't think you were after me, but I needed to make sure. I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't have time for your apologies. I just need the lifting verse. But I'm only a distant relative. There is an altar in the stalagmite castle which conceals a secret message. You should go and see it. If you are worthy, a path may be open for you. Oh, so perhaps that's what's beyond that door that has the magical force and barrier that we were previously unable to go past. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. It sounds like what we are looking for is in the castle. It sounds that way to me too. All right, so once again, there's an altar in the stalagmite castle. It conceals a message from the wise man, Galt. You should go and see it. If you are worthy, a path may be opened for you. Okay, so what does he mean he's a distant relative? Like the brother, a cousin? Are we talking like three or four degrees of removal here? Guys, this wasn't that helpful, but at least he gave us the info that we needed. I'm going to try one more time to talk to Irina because she is really not having it. And apparently that's still the case. So I don't know if she's ever going to open up to us or if this is just sort of where things are we gave her the note we tried to provide her with some level of closure regarding her father's disappearance but that might just be it i was hoping there would be a little bit more to it but oh well arcia did you find out where the wise man is I did. I was wondering if you wanted to come with me, but I guess this is something only I can do. So let's not delay this any further. As I already mentioned in our recap, oh my goodness, we went and talked to seemingly everyone 5,000 times. So I guess we don't really need to wait around and poke and prod any further. I'm pretty sure the door is what we need to kind of focus on. Yes, let's head on over to Heirloom. Maybe Laramie's already here? She said she was going to go look for the wise man herself. But who knows how far she got. As long as she doesn't get into trouble or get injured slash sick, I'm okay with her running off. I can't keep track of these girls. I gotta keep track of myself, you guys. But let's do it! A mysterious chant echoes through your mind. Oh, wow. My name is Wise Man Galt. You are trusted with the fate of this continent. You who hold the orb, come to the altar. Wait, do I need to go grab Arcia? And are you going to tell me where the altar is? Please tell me he opened the door. I don't want to have to run back through this entire area. Oh, it's gone! The door! What? And that looks like that's the altar. When you touch the altar, it begins to shine brightly. But does it shine bright like a diamond? That's what I want to know. Okay, can we not just pop up creepily behind people? I am Galt, the wise man of fire. It is good that you have made it here safely. The Imperial Army will soon find me and take me prisoner. Wait, aren't you dead or are you hiding? I'm leaving you this message in hopes you'll find it. The only person, oh, this is like a recording or one of those, I don't even remember what the word is for them. 
when there's like a a light message. I don't know what the word is. I, it's completely escaping me. And as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You see this all the time in movies where it's, oh my gosh. Well, whatever. That drives me nuts. But I guess he recorded this prior to being captured by the Imperial Army. Anyway, he continues in his message by saying, the only person who can recite the lifting verse is Arcia, wise man Zora's daughter. Why is it only her? And like, why could none of the other descendants have done this? I'm just curious, like, what made Arcia that special? Only a kind heart and strong mind can summon the help of the spirits. Well, maybe that's my answer. She must receive the lifting verse and be able to recite it. The altar will, will help her perform the ceremony. The lifting verse can be found on the altar. Use it to save our continent. I'm doing my best. You should have left a message for Geintz to not be a D-bag and withhold a whole bunch of important and useful info from me. That would have been terrific, but okay. I'll settle for what I can get. I need to tell Arcia about this immediately. Let's memorize it. The melody of the lifting verse echoes through your mind. The scepter memorizes the lifting verse for Volkos. Yay! Okay, that really wasn't that bad, but nothing else happened. If I wanted to go down there, could I? I'm afraid to drop down just in case shenanigans. Oh, well, I guess the game is not going to allow you to engage in further shenanigans, which is honestly fair. All right, take me to the entrance. I've got to bring the lifting verse to baby girl Arcia. And we need to get the hell out of this, out of this area. I'm a little over the Stalagmite Castle and Volkos as a whole. It's been fun being here. I was kind of talking about this, I think, in our last episode when we were running around trying to figure out who Geintz is and what his relationship is to the wise man that was here on Volkos. I was talking about how I think it's interesting and mildly impressive how many little things have been going on here. The other two continents sort of had one focal story point that was unraveling as you were growing and progressing as Eon and figuring out what you needed to do to save the world. But this one has had a couple things going on and I do like that they've kind of spiced it up a little bit. How did it go? Any help from wise man Galt? I guess sort of. He left some sort of message for us and we got the info we needed, now we just need Arcia to make use of that info. So where are you? Oh, thank goodness. For a second, I was kind of worried she was not going to be here anymore. Geintz is related to a wise man? No wonder he acted strangely when we asked about wise men. But where do I recite the verse? The wise man Galt told me how to get help from the spirits. Since you are the wise man's descendant and have the orb, the fire spirit will open the path. Hmm, all right. But I don't know where to even bring her. The scepter restores the lifting verse of the fire spirit. I must go. I have to conduct the lifting ceremony alone. Eon, please stay here. Why? You didn't need to be alone for the other two. It's a bit strange, but you know, I'm not going to stand in her way. Just get it done. Don't get in trouble. Get back here and then let's roll. Fire Spirit, please lead me to your sacred place. I guess she made it on her own. But where is Laramie? Oh! Is it hovering above the stalagmite castle? Arcia begins to recite the lifting verse. Crackling embers red with heat help me with this awesome feat to raise this land up to the sky so the people shall not die. Breath of fire hot with rage, don't let it be the final page. Blow this earth away from water so you may keep finding fodder. Fire spirit, I call to you to help us make this world anew. Dancing flames and burning coals, save this land and all its souls. We kinda need this right now, Arcia. Could you come say the lifting verse here in my town? Cause people are driving me crazy. I think they really should have taken it a step further and had her actually sing all of these lifting verses and these little animated cutscenes. Very Lunar-esque, I know, but I think that would have been fantastic. But it seems to have worked! We can strike another continent off our list of places to save, friends. We did it! Or maybe I shouldn't celebrate too soon. There's always time for more things to happen. 
but I can't imagine what's left to go wrong here. I wonder if Arcia can perform the lifting ceremony. Don't worry, Corky. Wiseman Galt will help her if she needs it. She will be just fine. Wow, another continent has been saved! Of course! Our mission is almost complete. Just one more continent. Are we ready to rescue Zephyr? Laramie and Arcia are already on board the goo- Oh, wow. You know, one of them could have come and let me know. Let's go! I'm going to take Erlim. What? Erlim? Gandor, why are you upset about this? Xeros told me that it won't be easy to get to Zephyr since it has a barrier protecting it. The barrier was created by the Imperial Wizardry. Their headquarters are located there. If you take Erlim, it may come under attack. But I must take Erlim to Zephyr. Otherwise, the lifting ceremony cannot be completed. We can do it. That's nonsense. Erlim will be destroyed if you take it to Zephyr. If that happens, you'll never complete that lifting ceremony. Besides, Erlim can find the way once you get there. He is programmed to find the location of his master. Okay, well that's good to know. You need to think about how dangerous this mission will be for all of us. Well, what should I do? Come aboard the Good. But how will you find Zephyr? Zeros installed a mechanism which can locate the continent. But what about the Vangle? No problem there either. Our weapons have been upgraded and our shields reinforced. Finally, we will have the chance to do some real fighting. I don't like the sound of that, Gandor. All right, we'll summon Erlim once we reach, this, reach Zephyr. Does that sound good? I guess so. It sounds like we don't really have a choice, do we? Okay, Gandor. Let's go check on Erlim. Yes, make sure he agrees with the plan. I mean, it really doesn't sound like we have a choice in this matter, but I'm... I'm all about doing whatever it takes to help everyone, so if we have to take their little airship, then let's take it instead of Erlim. But one more time, I know it seems like I'm obsessing over Irina, but I can't help but feel like there has got to be more to everything revolving around her. Us giving her that letter, us finding her dad. Is she really never going to speak to us again, and that's just that? And we've completed everything here in Tolku slash Oracle? Doesn't that seem like something is missing and there should be more to it? I doubt Sensei will have anything else to say, and it's the same. I don't know what happened to all the old people that were here. I'm still questioning what is going on, but, you know, I have bigger fish to fry right now. So let's just make a beeline for Heirloom. And you guys, think about this. We've knocked out three of the four continents, so we really only have one left. And I'm guessing maybe there might be like one final area or dungeon that we'll go through to take out the Imperial Wizardry. But we honestly probably don't have too much left in this playthrough, do we? I'm guessing maybe another 15 episodes, perhaps? That's so crazy. It feels like it's gone by so quickly. Are you ready to go to Zephyr? No, I wanted to go see... I wanted to go see Heirloom. Maybe I have to say yes? Well, I mean, let's just do it. Whatever. What do we have to lose, friends? And we still have a little bit of time left in this episode. Oh, okay, it did immediately take us to Erlim. Erlim, can you take us to Zephyr? No, I cannot. It is not in your memory. There is also an invisible barrier surrounding it. We should have caught a ride on Good. We said we were going to. I may be able to follow the airship to the location. That's all right, I'll call for you once I get there. I'm afraid that the barrier will make it impossible for me to find your location. Then you had better stay behind the Good. As you wish, I will follow the Good to the land of Zephyr. Okay, let's go catch the Good. What were we going to do? Just ride on Corky? Good cockpit. <laughs> what is going on in here? What's happening? Why did the volcano suddenly erupt? The bangle was here. It must have fired a torpedo into the volcano. Didn't you see them while you were circling? Why didn't you protect us? It was already too late. We didn't know the Vangle was navigating with the help of the Hydra Storm. Oh yeah, they had said as much when all of that went down. What? The Vangle can navigate the Hydra Storm? How is that possible? I don't know. Do you think... No, it can't be him. How else could they do it unless Slazer? But let's focus on what's happening right now. 
Are you still going to Zephyr? Yes, we have to save the continents. Why are we the ones who have to save all the continents anyway? We'll be alright on our own. Don't be selfish. It's our duty to fight the enemy. And I am proud of my fighting skills. <laughs> okay, we can't abandon all these people. We'll fight as long as we have to. Well, I'm glad Laramie's on charge. I suppose you're right, Gandor. I'll stay and fight at your side. After all, I'm a despot pirate. Tell Eon that I'll be in my room. Oh, hey! I'd be glad to report to your chambers, Laramie. Give me just a second. Oh, we're in here with Arcea? Gandor gave us permission to use his room. It's nice to have our own room. Our own room? <laughs> well, the shower seems fresh. Perhaps this belongs to Gandor. I do like that they have those little showers. Oh, what does he have in here? It is empty. There was a dagger inside earlier. Gandor isn't afraid of action. You should be more like him, Eon. Oh, Orky, Orky, Corky, whatever your name is. Orky or Corky, you can fuck right off. I've clearly been willing to take the necessary steps to save people and defend the land. And I guess that's it from Arcia. Okay, well, I would like to save. Perhaps I should have done that before running all the way over here, but it's okay. The good is not too terribly complicated. If I remember every- oh god, and already I'm starting to question- oh, well here's a save point. And we rummaged through all of these the first time we were here, did we not? Pretty sure we did, but just to make it quick, let me look. And we had found the fake jewels, I'm pretty sure there. Actually, let me wait a second before I save. We came in this way, correct? I think so. Oh gosh, I was just talking all confidently, like, oh yeah, it's not going to be too big of a deal to navigate this, but <laughs> now I'm going through it, and I promptly found myself, oh, okay, it's not that bad, because then I can just get in through the bottom. And then there were the bedrooms, right? Can I go into this one? I guess I cannot. And Laramie's room, I think, was this one right here. Okay. We will do all of the exploring when we come back together in episode number 42, but you guys know how it is. We are probably going to go ahead and call this not only an episode, but I think a recording session. We've knocked out, I want to say, 13 episodes in this batch, so that's pretty good. And as I was just stating a few minutes ago before we had our little chat with Heirloom and then were suddenly aboard the Good, I think we probably only really have one recording session left. I'm guessing about 15-ish episodes because we're going to go to Zephyr, go through all of the narrative that is going to unravel there. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say once we've tackled all the events at Zephyr and we've taken out, you know, whomever the enemy there is, there will probably be one last section or one last confrontation with a member of the Imperial Wizardry. So I'm going to gather like 12-ish episodes for Zephyr itself and then three, I don't know, maybe five-ish more for the actual final fights and wrapping up all of the story. That's what I'm guessing. That sounds about right, correct? Well, maybe we have closer to 20 episodes left, but either way, yes, slice it. I am going to guess that our next recording session will be our final. I'll try to just hammer out everything so we can wrap up this Let's Play project and move forward into another journey as we always do. But we'll save all of that banter for when the end is nigh. We've still got quite a bit of adventuring left in us. So until our next recording session and specifically episode number 42, take care, be good everyone, and I, your host Rabbit, look forward to catching up with you for some more of Let's Blindly Play Through the Grand Stream Saga on the original PlayStation. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye! Bye.